Hey guys, this is Adam and I'm a movie fanatic and today's video is going to be a book recommendation. So, um, as you guys saw in my last video about the Criterion Collection, uh, one of my favorite filmmakers is Orson Welles and um, you know, he had a very interesting career. Lots of books have been written about him. I own quite a few of them. Um, but today I'm going to recommend this one because I think it's one of the better ones. And it's not about his entire career or his entire life. It's just about one part of his life. And it's about one of it's about his last movie that he was making and was finished. For the most part, it was finished. It just wasn't edited completely. And he worked on it for a long time, quite a few years. And the reason it hasn't ever been, really been released is because, well, for one thing, the editing it had, like I said, he was working on various cuts of the movie, but the whole thing was not completely edited. But it could be reassembled, you know, because he left behind a lot of editing notes and everything. But the reason is because it hasn't been released is because of rights issues due to various distributors who worked with him during the production over time and some deals that were kind of broken. <laughs> um, in fact, just recently there was talk that Netflix may actually pick up the movie. So... Honestly, we'll see. I don't know. I don't really believe it'll ever be released in my lifetime. But I've been wrong about many things, so who knows? Tomorrow it could end up on Netflix. So, I don't know. Anyway, that book that I'm going to recommend is... It's a long title, so let's just go with it. It's called Orson Welles' Last Movie, The Making of the Other Side of the Wind. Great book. I was at Barnes & Noble. Um... I was just looking around, trying to kill time. I went to their movie section, you know, the movie book section. And this had just come in, and I was just instantly interested because I knew a little bit about The Other Side of the Wind. I didn't know the whole story. And I kind of just went through this book a little bit and was incredibly intrigued by what I read, and I decided to just go ahead and pick it up. So, yeah, it details a lot of the things that happened during the production. Um, you know, there were actors who came into the movie and shot months' worth of material, and then Orson just dropped them and cast another actor. It was basically also about who could just come in and play the roles because he would he didn't have a set shooting schedule it was just whenever he was free or had the money to do it you would have to come in and it would be at any hour of the day like all of a sudden it could be like at 2 a.m you get a call saying you need to be there at Orson's house in an hour because he's going to start shooting soon so um, <coughs> a lot of people excuse me a lot of people fell through because of that. And they're just like, I can't work with that. But then there were other people who were really dedicated to the production and stuck with it the whole entire time. You know? Um, so yeah, he was very obsessed with trying to get this movie finished. And yeah, it did get finished. And he shot all the material he needed to shoot for it. But then, and everyone thought, okay, great, the movie's done. Now we can get it finished. And well, that was just the shooting of it, as long as it was. It went for a very long time. The editing was a lot more problematic. And it was unfortunately something he was not truly able to complete in his entire lifetime. So, um, but yeah, if you've ever heard about the movie, I mean, it is very famous among a lot of, like, the film buffs out there. So yeah, but if you've ever really heard about the movie and you're interested in hearing a more of a detailed history about it, this is the book to do it. So it's available at Barnes & Noble and other bookstores. You can also buy it online. Um, it costs $26.99. You could probably... I paid full price for it, but it's been out for a few years, so you can probably find it for um, a much better price. Um, it is uh, The author's name is Josh Karp. And I'll leave all that stuff down in the in the description below. But yes, very highly recommended. If you're interested in movies, Orson Welles, anything, this book is definitely one to read. I've read it so many times, I can't tell you how many times I've actually gone through this book. 
it's absolutely worth it. Loved it. So anyway, all right. Well, that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. So anyway, all right. Well, I'm Adam. I'm a movie fanatic, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.